Are you one of the numerous people who are interested in the stock's potential future value? Investors are naturally curious about the future given the Tesla share's extraordinary growth over the past 10 years. Warren Buffett, the one and only Oracle of Omaha, is one noteworthy investor that hasn't joined the ranks of Tesla and expect investors. Elon frequently discusses this. When Musk and Munder had launch in 2008, Buffett's right-hand man Charlie Munger and Buffett might have entered the Tesla game very, very early. Munger, however, turned down his invitation to invest, for which he has paid dearly by forfeiting a 50x return. Has there been reconciliation between Buffett and Munger, and are they now prepared to forecast higher stock prices for 2024? In this video, we'll look at Munger and Buffett's predictions for Tesla stock's long-term growth potential. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons before we continue. The value of 10 Tesla stocks in two years is a topic of great interest to many individuals. More and more people nowadays are certain that having Tesla stock could prove to be a great asset in the near future. Listen in to hear Munger and Buffett's predictions for the value of Tesla stock in 2024. There is no doubting that Tesla stock is on a roll right now, despite inescapable obstacles. The EV company's shares have increased by over 20,000% since going public in 2010, easily outpacing the market as a whole. Consistently shattering Wall Street predictions, making early investors millions. The rate of expansion is unusual, and to say that it is unusual would be a major understatement. Elon continued to explain in a series of tweets that Berkshire Hathaway would have made a sizable return if it had invested in Tesla in 2008, when the business was only valued at $200 million. The market valuation of Tesla has now reached $600 billion, and in October 2021, and again in March of last year, it even surpassed $1 trillion. Munger had the option of making a Tesla investment at a valuation of about $200 million. Musk said over the lunch I had with him in late 2008. Musk has previously made reference to Charlie Munger, who is Buffett's right-hand man and the vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway, in relation to what the businessman sees as a missed opportunity for the holding company. Musk mentioned in the past that Munger had forecast the demise of Tesla as early as 2009. The tech tycoon wrote on February 16, 2022, I was at a lunch with Munger in 2009 where he told the entire table all the reasons why Tesla would fail. Even though it made me very sad, I informed him that I agreed with all of his arguments and that it was likely that we wouldn't succeed. However, it was worthwhile to give it a shot. By February 4, 2020, a $1,000 investment in Tesla made at the time of the IPO in 2010 would be worth almost $36,000. For context, CNBC calculates that a $1,000 investment in the S&P 500 index made in March 2012 would be worth $1,487.55 on March 25, 2022. This significant gain is not unfavorable, but at the same time, both the S&P 500 and the cost of gold experienced significant increases. Analysts, on the other hand, anticipate greater long-term growth for Tesla. On the other trend, 10 shares of Tesla valued at 6,940 in June 2021 will generate around 7,540 in earnings by June 2022. Despite numerous forecasts that Tesla stock will continue to bottom, this gain is significant. This might be attributed in large part to Musk's singular leadership style and the fact that his electric car company is light years ahead of the competition in terms of R&D and product development. In recent months, Elon Musk has risen to become the most important CEO worldwide, and his popularity is expanding every day with about 130 million followers on Twitter. Each of his tweets and messages is watched by millions of users on the social network and published by the media. Owing to his charismatic personality and goal of changing present and future means of transportation, Tesla, the electric vehicle firm that he co-founded and oversees as CEO, has experienced an extraordinary stock market boom for an automotive organization. At present, Tesla has a market capitalization of $622 billion, exceeding Toyota Motor, 
the largest vehicle maker in the world in terms of sales last year by more than $400 billion. But the Japanese manufacturer today has a market value of $188 billion. Musk's ability to generate immense trust in investors supports Tesla's valuation, which is now seen in the same kind of light as its rivals. The corporation isn't thought of as a traditional automaker, but rather more of a tech organization. In essence, the multi-billionaire CEO created Tesla on his own, and as long as he holds the position of leadership, he will represent the company's power and notoriety. Despite the fact that many investors hold Elon Musk in high regard, investors are expected to continue driving the company's stock to record highs. Warren Buffett, a famous investor who believes in thoroughly knowing a company's business before investing in it, is one prominent exception. The Oracle of Omaha, as Buffett is referred to, however, decided to invest in BYD. BYD, Tesla's major rival in China, sold more environmentally friendly cars last year than Tesla did. Although BYD also produces hybrid vehicles, which mix gasoline and electric motorization, Tesla continues to hold the global top spot when just electric vehicles are taken into account. 2008 saw $232 million invested by Buffett's holding firm, Berkshire Hathaway, to purchase 225 million shares of BYD. Since then, the investment has dramatically increased, and the price of BYD stock has risen with time. The billionaire has been lowering his position in BYD over the past six months. Around 95 million of Berkshire Hathaway's initial 225 million shares in the company have been sold, and it just sold an additional 4,235 million shares worth nearly 140 million. With 130.3 million shares, or almost 12% of the Chinese group, the holding company is still one of the largest shareholders in BWD, as was stated in a regulatory filing earlier this month. In light of this, a Twitter user questioned which business Warren Buffett ought to invest in. In light of the fact that Berkshire Hathaway finished 2022 with a sizable cash reserve of $128 billion, up from over $109 billion in the prior quarter. Musk immediately replied that the holding firm need to think about buying Tesla. The millionaire joked that the name begins with a T Tesla, is now working on a number of eagerly awaited new projects that are projected to boost the company's earnings and revenue, and as a result, raise the stock price. Cybertruck Optimus FSD from Tesla The Starlink project and an AI robot are just a couple of examples. 1. Tesla's AI initiative has been successfully put into practice. It will be fascinating to see how the business does in terms of expansion and profitability when compared to its competitors. Similar to how they were with electric electronic vehicle systems EVs, Tesla could lead the way in the development of artificial intelligence, which would significantly boost the value of the company's stock before the market boom. The price of Tesla stock was much below $100 at the time, but since then, it has climbed by a factor of 2, 3, and even 10. Everyone who has 10 or more shares of Tesla stock has the chance to get a 100% return on their investment in less than three years. Tesla shares will be worth $4,000 by the year 2026, according to a new valuation model that Kathy Woods Ark Invest recently presented. This is an increase from the company's initial projection of $3,000 in 2025. These figures are pre-split. People alter their opinions in response to new information and events, such the increasing use of the term totally autonomous driving. The results of ARK Invest's updated model show that the business now forecasts greater demand for autonomous ride hailing at higher pricing points than it projected in its initial market model. This is due to the company's growing faith in Tesla's ability to develop a completely autonomous driving system. They have also advanced their estimates to 2026, which is one year sooner than before, as a result of their research into how customers value their time. In the end, Munger has made it apparent that he still has doubts about Tesla despite the anticipated tremendous expansion. Munger just made it apparent in a remark that he thinks BYD is better than Tesla. Munger's answer to the question of whether he preferred BYD over Tesla was unambiguous.
He emphasized how Tesla twice reduced vehicle pricing in China in the previous year. In fact, Bide was able to hike its rates. Given its enormous production space, Munger claimed that BYD's dominance in China compared to Tesla is almost ridiculous. That accounts for a sizable chunk of Manhattan Island's total land area. We'll have to cut this conversation short, but if you liked this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.